पैरा ईच ऑफ अस मेक्स सर्टन गुड्स और परफॉर्म्स सर्टन सर्विसेस फॉर आवर फेलोज एंड वी आर पेड फॉर देम इन मनी विच वी इन टर्न कुड यूज टू बाय गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस फॉर आवर सेल्स ओरिजिनली ईच मैन वुड वर्क ऑन हीज ओन अकाउंट वन मैन ग्रोइंग फूड अनदर मेकिंग क्लॉथ्स एंड सो ऑन एंड ही वुड सेल द प्रोसीड्स ऑफ हीज लेबर फॉर वॉट ही कुड गेट इट सून बिकेम अपेरेंट दैट मैन वर्किंग टूगेदर could produce more and therefore earn more than if they worked independently from that it was an easy stage to the system whereby one man could perhaps through greater skill or greater knowledge or even greater enterprise build up a business for the supply of some particular product to his neighbors and engage others to assist him in his business and to work under his orders in any common enterprise it is necessary that one man could direct and the others obey his orders as otherwise chaos will follow para now consider the position of the men who are working for the founder and owner of the business they are still making goods or performing services for their neighbors for example they are equally making clothing or furniture whether they are working on their own account or whether they are working under the orders of someone else the difference lies in the way in which they are rewarded for the fruit of their labor the man working for himself must exchange his product for what he can get the man working for another person leaves the actual exchange of the product to his employer and his own salary is fixed between his employer and himself it does not depend directly upon the terms on which his employer conducts his exchanges with the rest of the community though there is a connection between the two para this introduces a difficulty namely the sharing of the risks of trade para few people would open shops and take the risk of starting and running any form of business if they were not likely to make for themselves something more than mere wages for their labor interest on their capital and rent for their property there is of course much to be said for the independence of owing and running one's own business but that in itself would not compensate a man for the risk worry and 
ट्रबल ऑफ गेटिंग ए बिजनेस स्टार्टेड एंड कीपिंग इट ऑन इट्स फीट पैरा द फैक्ट इज दैट ओवर एंड अब द रिटर्न दैट द ऑनर ऑफ ए प्राइवेट बिजनेस गेट्स फॉर द यूज ऑफ हीज प्रॉपर्टी हीज लेबर एंड हीज कैपिटल ही एक्सपेक्ट्स to secure also a return which is termed pure profit for bearing the risk involved in the venture this pure profit is that which remains after all other factors of production including those that may be supplied by the owner of the business himself have been rewarded para we can see all difference between pure profit and the other forms of reward if we consider a new business in which all the other factors come from outside sources in such a case the man rents the property borrows all the capital he requires and hires men to do the work he himself organize the business and undertakes all the risk he agrees to pay the rent to see that the workers will receive their wages and that the lender of the capital will get the interest on his money after paying all expenses he gets for himself anything that remains but the difference between his reward and the others rewards is that the latter are all fixed beforehand by contract the only reward that is uncertain that cannot be ascertained until the business has run for some time is the pure profit that is left to the man who carries the risk of success